I think it was disgraceful to treat parliamentarians in the way that Mrs May did. If she was going to cancel, say, Thursday night, Friday, that would have been far more respectful. But I think it's also damaged her reputation around the world in that uh, are future negotiators going to trust her, that uh, we've got a prime minister who cannot be trusted. It's just not going to, you know, you've got to have a different... I think one of the things, uh, if anything, that she's gained from her visit to the EU is that whilst they have stuck to their guns and said this is the only deal, she can now come back and say to the Norwegian group, the ERG group, the Borises, and say, well, I told you this is the only deal on the table. So at least she can come back and say that. But apart from, the, from that uh, positive, it doesn't change the arithmetics in the House. It does not create a, a, a direction of travel that will bring a resolution to this. A different, it has to be. Well, I think um, you have to unpack the uh, idea of a public vote. First of all, if there is no agreement by the 21st of January, then Parliament does have the right to take control. And I think at that point, there, it will be sensible to call for a public vote. And at that stage, I think it has to be all options if it's going to be a democratic vote. Give everyone the option. And I have to say, travelling around the country with my End the Chaos campaign, I have not found that people are angry. I've found that people actually want this to be over. They're fed up, they're stressed. To have a final say is actually something they're positively asking for. I, I, the most, I can't get her when she's going to call a vote. I think that's going to be really interesting. She said, I think uh, from the data that we're seeing um, in my world in the city on investments, there's been a huge decline in foreign investment. We know that recruitment in the city is down 40% from the uh, polls we saw this morning. Many of it people from the EU not wanting to come. We're seen as intolerant. We're seen as un incapable of actually organizing anything, much less uh, a, you know, a tea party, much less a parliamentary vote. And I think our reputation on a global stage has been significant damaged.